This is Louis Pedron for Fan Club X Network here at the Tribeca Film Festival 2007. We're here with John Rees, our director for Vomit, which is a documentary about graffiti. And um, you shot this in five continents. I'm, wow. wow, I can't imagine. Um, yeah, we went all over Europe, the United States, South Africa, um, Brazil, Sao Paulo, and Tokyo, and around Japan. So yeah. would that be just big cities? Because I couldn't just imagine graffiti would only be in big cities. No, there's actually a lot of places. Actually, in Japan, a lot of the graffiti is outside of Top Tokyo. So it's not just in big cities. I mean, graffiti's everywhere, pretty much. I mean, graffiti's been, you know, all over the world for thousands of years. You know, it's like graffiti is, there's graffiti wherever people are. So one time when we, um, we interviewed Bleck in this castle, like five hours outside of Paris, and there was graffiti in this castle from the kids who live nearby. I mean, there's graffiti everywhere. So, um, am I right to uh, equate graffiti equals illegal? I mean, in general, yes. I mean, a lot of graffiti writers would say that only graffiti that's illegal is really graffiti, but frankly, we kind of consider graffiti anything, any sort of illicit interference in public space. So, in a sense, it's illegal, but there is a fair amount of graffiti writers who do like legal spots now that still is considered legal, so it's a bit of a gray area. Um, can you um, describe to us how, because a lot of this uh, you shot while it was being, you know, like guerrilla filmmaking. Yeah. Yeah. So um, can you explain the, the adrenaline rush of shooting this? <laughs> well, it was pretty fun, I should say. I mean, the first, when I started doing the documentary, or even before I started doing the documentary, um, I interviewed two people in that first day. The first person was, um, was Sharp, who's an old school writer who's retired now. And then uh, Tuize, who took us out bombing. And, you know, it kind of sold me. I mean, I understand why people, part of the reason people do it is that it's fun, you know, it's a basically a lot of, as we say in the film, it's like a full contact sport. You know, it's what, that's not the only thing it is, but for a lot of kids, it functions on that level as part of why they do it. You mentioned kids. So most of the people that you shot in your film are mostly kids or no, were there no, adults as well? No, it's a full range. I mean, there's kids from, you know, probably the youngest kid we filmed was like 14. You know, and then it goes up to, I'm trying to think of the oldest person was probably like 50, you know, and maybe even 50. Actually, some of the old school guys like Cornbread, I think they're in there like 55, 57, something like that. I mean, those are kid, people who were kids when in the 60s when they were doing it. But a lot of like when people started doing it in the 60s and 70s, people don't realize that these were 12, 13, 14 year old kids doing it running around the subways of New York. You know, they weren't like adults. They were just kids having kicks. So I'd like to congratulate John Rees for this big success. And uh, is there going to be a book um, with like this? To, yeah, I'm it sounds hoping, like yeah, I'd like to do a book. I mean, you know, there's a like lot. A good, uh, yeah, event. yeah. And there hasn't really been a book like what we would do, which is kind of like a full, like from beginning, from 1960s to the present, you know, and with an equal amount of text and pictures. A lot of the books are just pictures, you know, and um, don't really represent the full scene. And, you know, it's good to give some context and good, it's good to give some context and, um, you know, background to what's happening, you know, in the scene as opposed to just seeing the pretty pictures. Because there's a lot more behind graffiti than just seeing the nice pictures on the walls. So congratulations, Sean. Is there a website that you want us to yes. check out? There's a website. It's www.bombit-themovie.com, B-O-M-B-themovie.com. And we're also on MySpace, my, MySpace back, backslash Bombit the Movie. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.